In today's video, we are revisiting some classic Shada content as we paint watercolor eucalyptus using both a wet on dry and a wet into wet watercolor technique. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hey friends, what's up? My name is Shada, and uh, first things first, let's do a really quick supply rundown. I'll be doing this practice piece in my watercolor sketchbook. This is from Canson. Um, it's really inexpensive and it's great for practice work. I'll link it in the description. I also have two sable hair pointed round brushes. I'll likely use uh, just the smaller one. Um, and then I have one glass of clean water, some paper towel for blotting, and I am using my 48 pan set from Mungyo and I will link the brushes and the paints in the description as well. So the first thing I'm going to do to begin our first eucalyptus is I want to mix up a very minty green. I'm mixing dark evergreen with a bit of this blue gray color that I have and I am also mixing in a lot of water. You wanna mix your paint on the palette ahead of time and make sure it is light and watery. Then we're gonna come over here and we're going to paint our first eucalyptus using a wet on dry technique. I start with a stem and then I'm using this very light paint to add some very simple leaves. You can see I just use the belly of the brush, kind of drag it across the page. I'm not too worried about what shape emerges. There are these kind of rounded oval shapes. I'm getting, uh, letting the leaves get a little bit bigger as I move down the stem. But other than that, I'm not thinking about it too much. I like, if I have pairs of leaves, I like to have one that's a little bigger, one that's smaller. Um, and then every so often here, I'll I'll just do um, one leaf or I'll do the leaves really, really shallow to make it look like they're at different angles, like they're coming towards the viewer, um, like you're looking at them sort of dead on. So just playing around with the shape and the size of these leaves. Um, don't overwork the paint too much. Just put down some nice light, minty green and that's all there is to it. I'll do another stem and you can see I'm doing some pairs of leaves. They're really small at the top and they get larger as I move down the stem. I might tuck one or two more in here for a nice organic natural look. And as I finish up with that, you can see all the leaves are basically the same color and they're quite light as well. Now what I'm going to do is come over here, grab some dark paint, some nice minty dark green, and I'll come back over here and we're going to add this darker color onto our dry leaves. So the paint was so light and thin, it's already dried. And now I'm able to add more color um, and I have all this control. So this is a wet on dry technique. It's just what it sounds like. You're putting wet paint onto dry paint and the paint just stays exactly where you put it. So you have all this control and you can add this very dramatic shading. So I'm kind of adding a shadow to the bottom of the leaves. And uh, it, it's as simple as that. I'm not overthinking it. Sometimes I'll kind of just lay down a splotch of color or a line. Some of the leaves I'm coloring them a bit darker almost entirely. Other ones have just a spot. So be pretty free with it. Don't overthink it too much. And I also darkened the stem in the center. Um, okay, so let's leave that one and I'm going to move over to the palette and mix up another green for the next uh, eucalyptus. For this eucalyptus, I'm mixing a aqua blue with a bit of green and a bit of brown to get this very cool, um, but still natural looking green. I think it looks pretty natural anyway. So a bit of aqua blue, a bit of green, and just a little bit of brown. And then I'm also going to mix up brown here uh, because I'll do a stem for this one. So remember, mix the paint on your palette. Mix brown and water to make your paint. Then come over here and just use the tip of that pointed round brush to add some stems. And then we're going to pick up that that nice green that we mixed. Again, I'm working with a very light watery color. Uh, so you can see I've 
painted some very light watery leaves. Then I'm going to grab a bit of that darker green that we have on the palette and I'll release that darker color into the wet area. So this is our wet into wet technique and you can see how interesting and free this is and how much less control we have compared to the wet on dry. But that can be a good thing. It's not that you have no control, um, but in, a, in the most wonderful way, the paint sort of does its own thing and it kind of does a lot of the work for you. You can release darker pigment into the wet area and the paint will not go anywhere that uh, isn't wet. So the paint is never going to run onto dry paper. So you don't have to worry about your shapes or forms changing at all. Um, and yeah, I'm just having fun with this. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of really dark green. Other times I'm adding a bit of light green. If things get a little bit too crazy, you can use a dry brush to sop up some of the wet paint. Um, and yeah, I'm just playing around with lighter colors, darker paints, uh, dark green, sort of medium mossy green. And the paints are blending and bleeding really beautifully. I'll add um, a little bit more of that stem. So I'm going to kind of start joining all these leaves with um, that brown. So on the one side, I'm doing kind of a um, I think that's a silver dollar eucalyptus. And then on the right here, I'm doing a seeded eucalyptus. So I am doing two different kinds of eucalyptus and sharing two different techniques. So on the left, we have our uh, wet on dry. And then for this one, we have our wet into wet. And now that I've done all these very um, free, fun, blended, wet into wet leaves, I want to finish this, uh, this eucalyptus by simply adding some tiny little seeds to it since this is my seeded eucalyptus. And I'm just using the round brush for that. I'm able to use that delicate point to do the little seeds and their tiny delicate stems. Okay, and then that is the eucalyptus all done. So on the left, you can see our wet on dry is very precise. We got some great shading. And I think if we get really close up, you can see exactly how, um, how that worked to our advantage with the contrast. And then over here on the right, we have this beautiful wet into wet um, with this wonderful variation of color within each leaf and some blooms. And it's just a really beautiful example of what watercolor can be. So there are my two different eucalyptus plants using two different watercolor techniques, all done. I hope you enjoyed this watercolor tutorial. Please hit that subscribe button and I will thank Squarespace for sponsoring our video today. You know, having an online presence has totally changed my life. My website and social channels have made it possible for me to work as an artist. And having a website of your own can do the same for you. Whether you're just getting started or you're already established, Squarespace supports the way you do business. You can sell your work directly or bill for art and design services. They have tons of site templates to choose from and you can present your work using a portfolio or a gallery. It's super Super simple to import all your photos and add images and the site automatically scales them for you so they look great. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Campbell to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.